High surf in Rhode Island Sunday as Henri comes ashore as a tropical storm with sustained winds reaching near 100 kilometers per hour. Tens of thousands of power outages were reported, but it's heavy rain that's caused much of the damage over parts of the northeast U.S. The storm caused this roadway to collapse in Manchester, Connecticut. It also triggered flash flooding in the area, prompting emergency crews to perform water rescues and evacuate people from their homes. 2 a.m., loud knocking on the door, flashlights flashing the windows, and evacuators telling us that they're taking us out, and there's no time to waste, so pack your stuff up, take whatever you need, and just get out. Over 200 Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania residents were evacuated due to flooding. You can see the vehicle submerged in this parking lot as the storm dropped record amounts of rain in some areas. It was a huge, massive rain event. I, I need not tell you in this part of the state, this is double digit inches in some cases of rain. Unheard of. On Monday, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy toured the damage in that state, where first responders rescued over 100 people as rainfall amounts reached close to 150 millimeters. Meanwhile, in Oxford, Massachusetts, a large tree was uprooted and fell onto a home. A mom and her two kids were inside. Thankfully, no one was injured. Henri weakened to a tropical depression Monday, but still producing rain as it slowly churns away from the northeast U.S. The storm should weaken further as it moves east towards the Maritimes. However, some bands of heavy rain could make their way into Atlantic Canada as the remnants of Henri move in Monday night into Tuesday. On average, the Atlantic hurricane season peaks in early September and can run until the end of November. I'm meteorologist Ross Hall.